We have a new uh, DHIS2 push analysis. And let me ask you all a quick question. How many of you have checked your DHIS2 dashboards this morning? Nobody? One, two, three. OK. How many of you have checked your email this morning? Yeah, that's everybody. I mean, <laughs> maybe, maybe they haven't woken up yet. Um, we need to send data where people are spending their time. Right? We can't appreciate, we, we know that making a DHIS2 dashboard, or just making a dashboard generally, is not enough. We have to make sure that we're sending the data to where people can access it. People forget their logins, people forget the URLs. Even though we've made it so easy to and, uh, uh, and um, optimized to look at analytics on your phone, people still are struggling to do it. Everyone accesses their email. You can now have DHIS2 automatically send a dashboard to someone's email. Okay? And this actually was an old feature of DHIS2. It's called push analysis, but it did not support all of the new chart types that we've introduced over the years. So now we have an entirely new push analysis engine, and this engine will allow you to have any chart type that you want and push it to anyone's email that you want at any frequency that you want. Okay? So there are two options here that I want to be kind of uh, clear on. The first one is you can send a dashboard based upon how it appears to the user who created the push analysis job. So whoever configured this, as the dashboard appears to them, that's how the person receiving the dashboard in their email will see it. So you can imagine I am a national system administrator. I have access to the national malaria control dashboard. And I want everyone to see the high level key impact indicators for malaria at national level, right? So I configure push analysis. I set it so that the user sees what I see. And then when they receive the email, they will open up the email and they'll see exactly how the dashboard appears to me, okay? The other option is if you want the user to, who receives the dashboard to have the data that's displayed on the dashboard reflect that user's permissions within DHIS2, okay? So imagine the scenario, I am, again, still the national uh, uh, DHIS2 system administrator, but I am making a district level dashboard, right? And I want this to be sent out to all of the district health managers. Well, using the second option, I can make a national dashboard using relative org unit assignment on that dashboard. And then I can set this up. I can, it'll send out the dashboard. Um, and the user receiving it will see the data that reflects their district. Right? OK. One quick point on this is that second option, it takes about three seconds per dashboard to be rendered and to be sent. So just a fair warning that if you're going to start sending it out to 20,000 users, which you could do, it's going to take a couple of hours to run. All right? So no JIRA tickets on that. We have warned you. <laughs> we are trying to optimize and speed it up, but in the, at least in this initial release, that is the, that's the burden. All right. So I think with that, I'm done. I'll hand it off to Austin.